All right, today is moving day. So, the idea is to move this shop to its new location. And hopefully, what I'm gonna do is lower this bench a little bit because it's, it's a little too high right now. It's up above my waist. Um, it's just how, when I, I it was kind of recycled, somebody was throwing it away, so I grabbed it. But I do want to bring it down to a more comfortable height. It's a little bit too high as it stands. Um, so when we rebuild this in the other shop, we'll make sure we get our heights and everything adjusted the way we want. Um, what we do want to do is clean out that back room first. But for now, um, that's going to be the project today. I don't think I'm going to record it the whole time. I thought about trying to time lapse. Maybe I still will. If I do, I'll stick it in here somewhere. Uh, but for now, what I'm trying to do is just uh, show you just what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave these doors here. I don't think I ever followed up on the brackets that I bought for the door hangers, but these are pretty slick. So you've got door hangers. So the hinges just, you know, mount. You, you put your same hinges you use that are on the Jeep, and then you space out this wall plate and it clicks nice and easy like. And there it is, tucked away against the wall, out of the way. You know, they're just mirrored. There's the other, the other side. Anyway, turned out pretty nice. Just a little follow up. But anyway, today's project is we're gonna move, move this workshop. Welcome back everybody. Uh, today, I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to record, but this is where the new workshop's going to go. I'm going to put the milling, well, I don't have a milling machine yet, but the lathe is going to go along this wall back here. The, the, when I get a milling machine, we'll go next to it. I'll have plenty of room for that. I'm just trying to plan for when I get one of those. And then just kind of make better use of this space back here. Right now it's half storage, half workshop. but. At any rate, I just wanted to give you a recap here. Today's uh, project is just going to be cleaning all this out, planning how we're going to rebuild that workbench, see what we can reuse, what we already have, and just get everything started to move over here. So I might try a time lapse. If it doesn't work out, I won't put it in here, but we'll give it a shot and see what it looks like. Um, but anyway, I just want to see, we just got to get this cleared out first, and then clear out the other side and start moving things over here, rebuilding that workbench. May need to grab some more material and uh, build that workbench a little further out. I almost want to make a workbench all the way across here, but, but we'll see. So anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, that's going to be today's project. If anything, I'll just mash, give some updates as I progress along, uh, but I will try some time lapse too. I haven't done that before.
to get everything cleaned off. Got all my tools kind of pulled off of the workbench here. Um, just want to clean off a few, little bit more of this. I got to take this down, take the uh, strapping down that I use to mount my pegboard. And then finally, I got just two bolts holding this in here and on the other side. And that will take care of that. Um, it's a little heavy, but I have a plan. I'm going to move all of this out of the way. I'm going to bring this cart over, put some cardboard on top of it, slide it over, and we'll just slide the lathe right on top of it. Then I can wheel that over to the other workshop. and squeeze it through here and put it on its new home. So this is kind of what I'm going for. I'm gonna put the toolbox in the corner, some taller stuff in that corner, move my shelves down. I'm gonna put some lighting. My lighting will go underneath this shelf here. Um, I'm gonna butt up that eight foot shelf here. It'll leave me with maybe a two foot gap here, maybe a little less, but I'm thinking I'll build a, or put another shelf or something there, and I'll put my drill press there. So my hopes are to have my drill press, my lathe, and the milling machine all right here. And then I still have my workbench for just miscellaneous projects, things I'm working on, home repairs, that sort of thing. Um, and I still got my spice. But anyway, this would keep, when I get this done, this will keep all of the repairs all of the shop mess and the chips and everything over here and I can clean this up and it stays out of my main garage. So just a little update. We're going to keep going. Hopefully the time lapse is working. I'm giving it a shot. Um, if it is, I'll be sticking it in. This is the next day, right? Let's get this one on. There is the new workbench. So, I still have a lot of cleanup to do. Um, sorry about not getting footage of rebuilding all this, but I'll tell you, yesterday was a long day moving all of this stuff from the other shop, trying to figure out where to put everything, you know, stored. You know, it's not a huge workshop. We got, you know, many years worth of stuff. So we got to kind of cram it all in. But we did it. But we still have a mess to clean up and a little bit of organization to do. So let's turn this light on. So what we want to do is continue on and finish cleaning up the rest of this bench and make this entire space usable. Um, I think as you can see now what I was going for, you know, I've got plenty of workbench here to, to work with. Um, this is kind of in the way, but I, I have the space, so I'm going to leave it there because I use this quite a bit. Uh, but this ultimately would be where a uh, milling machine will go if I ever get one. Um, I'd like to, but we'll see. Uh, and then... Today, I'm going to focus on cleaning up this stuff here, finding a proper place for most of that stuff. But anyway, I'm going to set you back up in the tripod, and we'll try to do some more time lapse, and uh, we'll see how this goes.
Well, there we go. So here's a wide shot of the room and I'll uh, get you in a little bit closer here. Um, just kind of give you a quick rundown. Finally got everything cleaned up. Um, everything kind of organized. I got a few more things to put away, but for the most part, um, you know, I got to put these things away, but I've got a place for my bandsaw. I can move that over. I can shift these. I can leave all of this out. I could put the drill press on the floor if it does get in the way, but I don't think I'm going to need to. I got a place for my bench grinder and it can be used when I need it. I've got this all cleaned out. So there's my original workbench that I had back here. And here's the move. So as you can see, I got the same lathe space, same work area that I had before. You know, I had it over to the left and uh, my little work area on the right, but then I had a corner. So I had that, uh, here, let me get rid of this. So I got rid of, you know, so I kind of had this thing turned sideways. For now, I'm going to probably inch it over that way a little farther, but I, I still use quite a bit of stuff out of here. And I got my four jaw, my collet chuck in here. I've got a uh, bench block, my chip brushes, some, some rags, literature, paper, some of the guides I got, and then some more stare at guides and, and whatnot. And then up here is my metrology, if, uh, if you want to call that. But, uh, you know, just some extra stuff. I can clean this out a little bit further, but uh, I do use this stuff quite a bit. So I want this handy, um, but I also want it out of the way. But uh, as you can see, I got plenty of room here, both for home projects to fix up, you know, mowers and just whatever I got to do. Um, and then I've also still got my lathe area. And when I, when and if I ever get a mill, I can shove and just kind of migrate this stuff over and I'll have my lathe and my milling machine side by side. I'll add a support down here, make sure it's nice and sturdy, do whatever I need to do. But in the end, it, uh, I now have a lot more space and any chips that uh, get thrown around, they're going to be stuck back here in the workshop they're not going to be in the way um yeah so i've kind of got everything stowed away a little bit more cleanup to do um but yeah there is a workshop tour plenty of lighting should be able to get some videos i'll have to play with my uh my mount for my camera angle i may have to move it a little bit but that's okay um, mower and everything will still be covered. It, it'll go in here when I'm not using it. Um, I still can use the lathe. It gets a little tight back here, but I can still get to everything that I need. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we got a workshop. This summer I'm going to tackle cleaning up all the spare wood and lumber that I have up there. But there is, oh yeah, sorry. I even got my stare at tap drill sizes and decimal equivalents chart hung back up for quick reference. But anyway, that's, uh, that is the new shop move and, uh, it'll constantly improve a little bit. I'll be cleaning it up, but I'm going to call this a video. This is the end of, uh, the actual shop move kind of got it sorted and situated the way I want it. Um, like I said, you always move things around, but for the most part, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. First time I've tried time lapse. Um, you know, let me know what you think. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next one.